Welcome back to Minecraft Generations, where I have tons of string and nothing to do with it. <laughs> well, I could make bows, but in this version, bows don't lose their ability ever. So there's no point. Though, maybe, if I ask kindly enough, I will be able to use my redstone knowledge and create... Nope. Not a thing yet. And now I have to take all of these things out of the crafting bar by hand. Good times. I should have at least cooked these pork chops before I started, but oh well. <laughs> Yeah, um, I went ahead and, um, I built a few things, mostly decorative, in between episodes. And also, the spider farm ended up killing me. So I made a few modifications to that as well. Remember how I had the spiders being held up by ladders? Well, I noticed the string fell on top of the ladder, so I was like... I'll be fine, I'll just jump a little, and I'll grab the string, and I'll never get touched by those spiders. I was touched by those spiders a little too much, and died. Yup, and it cost me my diamond pick. Darn. Also, I made a shovel. Also, for some reason, every time I start up, this is changed back to I when I prefer being an E. Oh well. So, <clears throat> I changed this tunnel over here into a water area with sand. There's like nothing back there. Just, it's just a nice flowing water area with a bridge. And I made a stairway going up. And a pathway underground out of gravel. Now this over here, I was hoping would have been done by now, but I don't know. I'm thinking this version is just not supportive. I was, I put this torch here to to make sure. Oh wait, it actually actually it just actually. Look, I was like waiting here forever. I was like, is this grass gonna spread? Is this grass gonna spread? This is gonna, sp and it never did. And and then I come here saying this grass ain't gonna spread, yo. And guess what? It spread. I'm guessing maybe it's because I'm on beta 1.0 now, but who knows. <laughs> Hopefully it'll spread all the way down here and all over the place. Like I wanted to. Anyway, this pathway goes all the way down here, and I did a lot of time on it, making it all fancy -rific. Oops, someone forgot a block. Or maybe it's the, the, the those nasty internet. <laughs> totally, in, in, you know, infiltrating versions before they actually exist to steal blocks. I mean, those horrible monsters. And I don't have torches at the moment. Darn. Well, yeah, they do. They're just not where I think they'd be. There we go. So, I, I put this down a little bit, and I put, you know, half slabs, and it works pretty good now, because even when I, if I do see string up there, like, oh my gosh, string, I jump, I don't touch the ladder, so grab on them, and climb, and I don't get sucked up and die by spider mass hitting me. Good time. And it still works for now, but you know what? I got plenty of string, so I don't really need to worry. Also, I began actually carving uh, this place out. Ooh, there's some there's some gravel gravelicious over there. There you go. Let's go ahead and use it. Also, um, I was like, okay, there's probably. I remember this area where there was some dark caves, right? I was like, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go at them dark caves. So I, I go do the trouble of looking through all these caves, 
and finding the way. And then it turns out it just led to the room I was just in where I just grabbed that gravel. I was like, what? What, really? <laughs> oh, man, that place I thought was another place was actually the place I was already at. Also, if you go all the way up here to the surface, well, right now it's nighttime. Yeah. Okay, there doesn't seem to be too many bad eyes here. I also made this. It's a water drop. It dropped all the way to the water. Now, if you just walk off, I think you don't, like, take any damage at all, and it's perfectly good and wonderful. But if you you jump, you take, like, I think either, like, a half or a full. I can't remember. You take a tiny bit of damage, and it's like, okay, that happened. I also made, clearly, you know, this, this platform I'm standing on. And, um, this, uh, road. Sure, I'm not getting ambushed. Okay, make some good old-fashioned torches so that I can lay down light on my road because you know it's nighttime, so I can clearly see. Oh, it's dark here, and oh my, it's dark over here. And what? How can it be dark over here as well? I must make amends. By flooding it with light and making the pathways safe for all of humanity. Oh, I see a bad guy. I'm gonna lose this bad guy and then be like ambushed by this bad guy. The creepers are kind of a jerk in this version at the moment. Kind of take advantage of the fact you can't run. They're not nice. <laughs> They're not nice at all. Well, I'm not going to worry about him. He's going to burn soon. In fact, he's burning right now. And he's burning right now. They're all burning right now. And they have the accuracy of not very good people. And I thought I saw a creeper up here, so I'm going to be careful about how I live. And do not worry too much, though. Man, yeah, I think I could eat. Oh, I, I was just talking about you. And then I fall down off a cliff and almost die by another creeper that just happened to be down here. And another creeper that just happened to be down here. So yeah, that's how creepers work. They just kind of blow you up because they're mean. <laughs> and then they go in a circle around you. And you're just, they're just like, well, you can't do anything about it. You can't run. And you're like, well, yeah, but neither can you. You're just running in circles. If you had a tail, you'd probably be chasing it. And everyone would laugh at you because, well, it's not socially acceptable to chase one's tail when you're you have sentience. Then again, it isn't yeah, socially acceptable to explode when you have sentience either. But you know, creepers just don't care about social behavior ever. Okay, let's go ahead and have some pork chop. See? Because there's another one. They just, they just come out of every nook and cranny ever. Even during the day. And they're just, they're just there. Constantly. A nuisance. A thorn. In your side. Just like, yeah, yeah, I want to wreck your world. Go, come on. Let's, let's, let's do this. I need to 
prepare some arrows. So I need to find some feathers at places like this chicken. Hey, hey, you, get, get, get over here. Because I also have acquired quite a bit of flint. And um, now that I need to go back down to get the flint, and maybe even the feathers that exist down there, I should also make sure I, you know, see if there's any here first, though. Um, I can show the water drop in progress! Yeah, right, yeah, that's great. Um, there's some flint, let's grab that. Oh, and there's a ton of feathers here. Tons. And there's even some string here, too. <laughs> I have too much redstone. <laughs> But yeah, my diamond stuff is kind of wearing down a bit, but oh well, at least it's helpful. Could you go in there? These fences, they're just so strange. They um look like, you know, uh, just a post, but like their hitbox is a full square. Oh wait, I was gonna do the water trap. Why are I not doing the water trap? Down we go! And that's all there is to it. <clears throat> I believe it's, yeah, this, this is the, the fancy room I made. Oh, there we go. And now, we need just as many sticks. Should give me a stack. So this should give me like a bazillion arrows. I will never be hungry for arrows again. Unless I go on a rampage and just waste them all. But you know, when will that ever happen? <laughs> oh yes! Time to shoot things for sure. I'll take half of those and put them away, though. Because, you know, I don't need to, like, have every last arrow of mine on me. I mean, I don't want to, like, end up, like, dying for some reason and then being all like, Oh, well, there goes my arrows. Also, if anything is on the bottom two rows here, and you're like, yeah, I want to put that away. You, you click on it and nothing happens. So you got to go into the menu here, move the item, and then you can put it up here. It's pretty strange, but it's an old version, so of course there's going to be strange, odd, and even bizarre quirks to it, you know? Let's take one powder away. But what, besides, you know, going on about things and... Doing a little miniature tour, what should we do today? Hmm? I think perhaps... I should have actually made something while I was down there. And now I need to go all the way back down. Great. I'm just wasting time now. Okay. Due to how, it's wor how it works in this particular game, I'm going to need to make two of them. But let's make a hoe. I mean, it's pretty useless, and it's just not efficient, like, in the slightest. Unless it can stack at this point, which would be good. But, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. you could have, like, a stack of, uh, of the wheat stuff with you, and you're like, oh man, I'm hungry, and then you craft some bread. I guess that would make it, um, you know, a good thing to have around, but it's like... At the same time, it's like, you know, animals just, they just kind of exist in the world at this point. Especially pigs. And, you know, you just see a pig and you go, I'm going to hit that pig with my sword. And you do. And then you get pork chops. Most of the time. Sometimes you don't. But yeah. Some pigs are bigger than other pigs. But they just don't care. Um... 
But where would be a good spot for this kind of thing? Maybe up here? Yeah. Because you don't want anything walking on it. Because it's like... And the version I'm more accustomed to, it's like... As long as you don't literally jump on it, you're fine. But in this version, you simply walk on it, you're going to screw it up big time. Let's let's go with here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, the weird thing is, there's like no fence gate yet, so. You gotta, you know, come up with, you know, strange alternatives. Such as that. And speaking of strange alternatives, to stack um, these fence posts here, I had to make a pillar of a, a solid block, place the fence on top of the block, remove the next one, place a pillar, you know, the, the fence, and then so on. Because you can't put a fence on top of a fence. It's like, not something you can do. It's just not right, apparently. And I, was, I just didn't know. I was like, oh no, really? I'm sorry for being such a miscreant, but I'm going to have to do this. But yeah, I'm going to finish this uh, farming type thing off camera and I'm be like, oh man, I have a farm now. Be right back. While I was waiting for it to be day, I went ahead and messed around and I can make rails and a minecart. But I can't make powered rails yet. So, oh well, there. Let's go do this. Everyone had to make another doorway. Well, but it looks like I had to make more fence. Do you have the crafting box up here? I'm still not used to them having such big hitboxes. It's weird. Really weird. <laughs> Hopefully this is enough. Okay, cool. And I'm just gonna throw a little bit of dirt down. Remove the torches from the actual grass. Okay. <clears throat> now, unlike in, uh, you know, more recent versions, there's no grass. So it's like, how do you get seeds? You just kind of... You start killing the ground. And, uh, I think they're supposed to just start popping up. There you go. Apparently it's not very reliable though. Wait, what? What, I'm shift clicking. Oh yeah, there's no water yet. What am I, what am I thinking? Oh, I forgot one of the important things. There we go. Now it becomes hydrated. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be wanting to give me a whole lot of seeds. So, yeah. Okay. Let's put those there. Let's go ahead and start by putting these seeds in this row here. 
and then doing them every other row, um, and see how well that works out, at least for the beginning. Yeah, if I'm gonna want to do some of the seeds, I'm gonna have to start, like, killing random dirt, like, eh. And that's why I made two of these. And I only got like a couple of seeds. That's pretty bad. Oh well. Like I said though, farming not very good at the moment. It's only like one crop, and you be very, super careful on the fields, and it just um, doesn't heal as much as a pork chop, I'm assuming. I can just walk on them. Okay. That's fine, dandy. Okay. So hopefully that will get going and produce a decent amount of food. And so far, yeah, this nice, um, valley type area. I don't know, I think it looks pretty good so far. Perhaps next time we should actually start working on the house, house up there. That sounds like a good idea. <laughs> well, no, let's just go up there and and take in the view of these tr big trees and this pathway kind of winds a bit in there to the mine that's way over there to the uh, cavern totally different from a mine I mean what are you talking about nice big sandy place over there and uh, the new farm Maybe I should, uh, try something with this. Though, uh, the mechanics of these things are a bit different than what I'm used to, so it might either, you know, be fun, it might be derpy, it might end up getting me killed, but you know what? Why not try? Look forward to it.